Chatbot conditions are one of the most powerful features in your Como account. They can help you to understand clients' intentions, redirect them to appropriate channels, and even keep them entertained. If you're a little bit confused about how to make them work, then this video is for you. Stay tuned to find out more about chatbot conditions and how to set them up in Como Chatbot Builder. Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. It's Simon from Como, formerly known as Ammo CRM. In one of the previous tutorials, we've covered the basics of our sales bot and showed you how to build it in Como. In case you've missed it, check it out first so you don't get lost in this video. Now, it's time to dive deeper into how chatbot conditions work. All of us are quite familiar with how conditions work because making decisions is something that we all do on a daily basis. Take this decision tree. The decision tree represents various conditions or options which lead to different outcomes. Conditions usually dictate every choice that we make on a day-to-day -day basis, and our choices then influence our actions, a series of which eventually lead us to different outcomes. Now that you've got a basic understanding of how conditions work, let's see how you can apply them to your sales bot. Thanks to Como, you can build chatbots for different messengers, including WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram. This helps you book appointments, answer frequently asked questions, make event registrations, download lead magnets, and much more. But to ensure a seamless experience, you will have to set your chatbot conditions properly. Conditional flows will provide you with outcomes tailored explicitly for each action a consumer takes in your chatbot, making their experience more personal. And according to recent studies, 80% of consumers are more likely to buy from a brand that provides a personalized experience. So it's a win-win for everyone. In Como, you can set conditions based on client message, lead source, conversation status, and some other triggers. You can choose several conditions which can mutually exclude each other as well, and even specify the action for a situation where none of the conditions are being followed. Are you still a little bit confused? Okay, well, let's look at some use case examples to understand better. Now, with perfectly set chatbot conditions, you can check the following. If you already have the lead's contact data, create engaging content like brand-themed quizzes, launch bots based on pre-filled messages, set notifications for when the 24-hour window is closing, send tailored content based on the answers clients give you, and even measure how satisfied they are by using emojis. Let's take a look in more detail. So let's say you get a new incoming message, but you don't know if that's a potential lead or an existing client. Well, what do you do? You can set a condition in the bot to check if the client's email address already exists in your CRM. And if it does, it will skip the step of requesting it. Now, this is especially useful if your chatbot has multiple lead magnets. Another great way to use chatbot conditions is to add some fun to your routine conversations by creating brand-themed quizzes for your audience. These days, business communication has become increasingly relaxed to enhance consumer engagement. This means that not every customer interaction with your bot has to be formal. Sending your leads brand-themed quizzes will educate them about your company, creating a stronger bond while also giving them a sense of achievement. And if you structure your questions right, you'll also get some key insights into customers' preferences and behaviors, helping you to segment them for relevant content. Creating a seamless experience is another goal your business should always aim for. One of the ways that you can achieve this is by using a WhatsApp link and setting conditions based on the pre-filled message. If you haven't heard about the WhatsApp link yet, check out our video to learn more. After adding a WhatsApp link to one of your channels, all your customers have to do is follow the link to get redirected to your WhatsApp chat. Click the send button and the custom pre-filled message will be sent to your business. Pre-filled messages will allow you to filter out incoming requests by understanding the client's intentions. Depending on the type of pre-filled message, the lead will be transferred to a responsible chatbot or user. It will be especially handy if you have several service options with multiple chatbots connected, redirecting leads to the one that can provide them with the relevant information. If you don't have a WhatsApp link, use our free WhatsApp link generator to get one in less than a minute. Okay, now let's look into another scenario. You've probably faced the 24-hour rule when interacting with clients on Facebook Messenger, Instagram, or even WhatsApp. Facebook's 24-hour rule means you have only 24 hours to respond to a client's message. 
If you don't respond within that time frame, you won't be able to send a free form message to that customer again until they initiate a new conversation. But thanks to the chatbot template in your Como account, you can select your lead source and get notified by the system when the 24 hour window is about to close so you can shoot your shot before it's too late. And as someone great once said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Another useful condition case to try is setting up chatbot actions based on the keywords in a lead's message. The system will perform a simple analysis of what the user is trying to say to identify keywords that will trigger the response of the chatbot. If you set this condition next time you receive a message, the chatbot will first try to match it with preset keywords and then take an action according to your configuration. Customize this template according to your needs and you can be sure that your leads are taken care of. So you're doing a great little job of setting up your chatbots and training your sales team, but how can you make sure your customers are as happy? A satisfaction bot could be the answer. Now this chatbot will get a customer satisfaction score by measuring your client's satisfaction when they interact with you using emojis. And with the help of conditions, you can set further actions according to the rate. Brilliant, right? Now you can easily use one of our chatbot templates and adapt it to your business needs. But how about building a chatbot from scratch? Well, are you up for a challenge? We'll try to set up two different chatbots using our Strike web agency as an example. The first chatbot will send tailored content based on the user's answers. And the second will launch other bots based on the WhatsApp pre-filled message. In your Como account, go to Settings and Communication Tools. Click Create a new bot. Now from here, you can start your chatbot in the SalesBot Visual Builder in many different ways. But for this particular chatbot, let's start with a message. Once we pick up the message as the first step, we need to specify its content. For a welcoming message, let's write something simple and straightforward. Hey there, I'm your Stripe Web Agency bot. Please choose the service you're interested in. Make sure to add a few response options to choose from. In our case, it will be web development, web design and digital marketing. Now we have to select a condition. We want this one to be based on the lead's answer. In the if condition, there is a list that you can choose from. It includes client message, active chat code, active chat messenger, lead source, conversation status, answer status, interaction status, lead, contact, company, and talk NPS fields. But since we're building a chatbot based on user answers, we'll pick a client message for our if condition. For our next condition, we have three options, equals, does not equal, and contains. Let's choose contains and specify our own value against which condition will be checked. For the value, we can select from a random string or short random string, bot parameters, manual input, lead, contact or company fields, current talk ID or NPS, and Como username or phone number. This time we'll go for the manual input and as our value, we will input one. And let's add two more similar conditions for the two remaining answer options, two and three. Done. Now it's time to write a bot script for each of these conditions. If the client picks option one, we'll redirect them straight to our responsible user for web development. All we have to do here is create a new step, select action, change the responsible user. If the lead types two in the chat, we will similarly assign the manager for web design orders as a responsible user. And option three belongs to our digital marketing pro. After assigning a responsible user, we should let the lead know that they have already been transferred to a specialist and will be contacted shortly. The messages will look similar in each of those three options. The only difference will be the name of the service. All of this seems great, but as we know, not everything can go according to plan. So what if none of our conditions are followed and the lead just answers with a text message saying something like, I need a web developer. Well, don't worry. In that case, we can set a script for the bot where it asks again to answer with a number. Let's set this all up. We need to specify the next step. That is, when none of the conditions are met. For example, the chatbot can respond with, unfortunately, I couldn't understand your message. Please type one of the numbers in the chat. After that, we'll add the same conditions as we did before. Also, don't forget to add the stop bot step at the end of each sequence. Now, click save, and that's it. Our first sales bot is ready. 
Now that you've got the hang of it, how about trying something a little bit more challenging? Our second chatbot will help you filter out your pre-filled messages from WhatsApp with the help of chatbot conditions. Say we've got three pre-filled message options, order site, learn more about services, and learn more about promotions. We'll set each of these messages to trigger separate bots that we've previously created for these three different intentions. Let's see how. We can start the bot by adding a condition for the first pre-filled message. If client message equals manual input, order site. Then we'll have to transfer the leads to a separate highly qualified chatbot to help them make a website order. To do that, we click Start Bot and select Site Order Bot. Now, let's repeat the same steps to add another condition to the next pre-filled message. This time, if the lead intends to learn more about the services, our original chatbot would transfer them to the Services Bot. For our last pre-filled message, we will add a step to start a separate chatbot, but this time it will be called a Promotions Bot. Perfect! Once again, remember to stop the bot at the end of each sequence so it doesn't affect the work of your next chatbot. Finally, if a client decides not to send a pre-filled message, we must specify the condition to make sure that they get redirected to one of our sales reps. So, we'll add an internal message for the sales team. The client wants something different. And then, stop bot. Finally, we're done. It's pretty amazing what you can do with conditions in Como, right? They can make your life so much easier and enhance your team's efficiency by far. But there's more. This was just the tip of the iceberg. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to get the most out of your Como account. Until next time, and I'll see you again.